Hey y'all, hey, this is Danielle, the teacher, Danielle, the food truck owner, and Danielle, who has something on her mind today, baby. Good morning. I hope y'all Saturday is going fine. I hope that you had a great um, start of the weekend. I have something I need to talk to you about. So yesterday I was with my friend and we were getting ready to go on a volleyball trip and I told her I wanted to do a TED talk one day and she asked me what will be my topic and I said mindset and that just kind of we kind of had a conversation went away from it kind of say one day that's going to happen. So last night when I was um, getting ready to start packing my things I don't know if you all know this but my daddy has been um, my daddy had been in the hospital he had a stroke or whatever and you know i've been praying asking god to heal his body get him back to where he needs to be and all that kind of stuff and i'm a believer that that is exactly what god is going to do i just don't know when he's how he's going to do it 100 what is going to be his new norm but i do see the progression of him and all that but for some apparent reason you got to watch out for that devil the enemy whatever you want to call him, Bezelbub, Satan, Slewfoot, whatever. I'm sitting in my shoe in a pig's pen, which is the room I get all my, have my clothes in, and all these negative thoughts start coming to my head. The thought of death, the, the, the thought of um, him hurting, the thought of me not, should I not go on this trip because I need to be there to help him. All the things that I know that is out of my control. And I had to start talking to myself i went in the living room i was all hyped up because i talk very expressive i'm telling jermaine that i'm having a fight between myself between my spiritual side and my other side one side telling me danya what you gonna do if something happened to your daddy while you're gone or your mama and this and this and my mindset had become very clouded with negative thoughts and that's not me. So I had to fight. I had to remember that if I have faith the size of a mustard seed, I can move mountains. So what I had to do was recondition my mindset to say, no, we're, we're not doing this, Danielle. We are not. I know your, your human side want to be sad. Your human side don't like to change. But your spiritual side stood up tall and said, no, no, we're, we're, we are not. Do you hear me? We get negative thoughts, pack your stuff, go sit down somewhere, but you're not going to live inside of Danielle's head. We're not doing it. So I'm telling you all, as positive as I try to be every day, our mindset is important because if we set our mind to one type of thinking, it's going to go that way. Because I always tell my students, whatever you feed, it's going to grow. And for a minute, I was having a garden of disparity growing in my head. And the funny part about it, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking about where do I put these certain earrings? Should I get this type of charger? What should I wear? Where did I put these tights? I need to, that's what was in my mind. And all of a sudden, that negative thought started creeping in my mind. And I told you, man, it's like a fight, Danielle versus Danielle. And you do have that inner fight that you have to fight all the time. So I'm telling you this because, you know, I, I just had to get it off my chest. I don't even know if it'd be, um, you know, helpful to you or whatever. But if you're having a mental fight in your mind, stand up against it. Because the worst person to fight against is yourself. Because I could fool anybody, but I can't fool myself. And what I love about this situation, I called mom and I told her about it. She's like, Danya, we're going to be fine. The Lord going to take care of us, blah, blah, blah. And what I love about being able to acknowledge what you're going through, because when you expose, I'm telling y'all, listen to me, exposure is freedom. Sometimes you don't get the results you like, but exposure is freedom. And when I exposed those feelings that I was having, they had to go. I replaced them with the Lord is good. He's going to take care of my family. He's an on-time God. I, it's nothing I could do. God knew my daddy and my mama before they was in their mama and their mama's womb. That was a long time ago. And he knows when they're going to live and when they're going to die. He knows when I'm going to live and he knows when I'm going to die. The same for you. So I can't sit around here and worry about that. And normally I don't. But that's just for this little split second or minutes, maybe hours, that I had this situation. I have to come here to tell you all, don't do it. You tell negative thoughts, depression, all that stuff, it's got to go. Talk to it. Get out of here, okay? Pack your stuff and get out of my life. Get out of my house. Get out of my job. Get out of my marriage. Get out of my children. Get out of me. Whatever is trying to get you down, you need to tell the package bag and go, it's time to go. 
There's no vacancy here for you. And I'm saying that because I feel better today because I know that God is going to handle it. My mama said this and I'm going to go, when you put it in God's hand, you're going to see God's hand in it. So that was my little five plus minute talk to you today. About to get ready and go check out this Goodwill and Walmart and a couple other things before I go. But just want to stop by and just say, I love you guys. Remember, mindset is important. Set your mind to positive thoughts because guess what? Whatever we think, we become. All right? And the power of life and death is in the power of your tongue. So speak positive today. All right? Love y'all. Bye now. This is Danielle, the teacher, Danielle, the food truck owner, and Danielle who has weak moments but know how to dig her way out with love, support, and prayer. Talk to y'all later. Bye now.